when you're in your in weakness, and this Paul said, in my weakness, I am made strong. And being the true disciple, meaning you're not dependent on your strength or how you feel. What does the word of God really mean to you? Did you take it seriously? Did you take it seriously what God says and his promises about who he says? And this ain't far-fetched, guys. This is where the road, rubber meets the road. God wants you to believe what he says about you personally. That I am with you. I'll never leave you. I will never forsake you. The Lord Jesus Christ make an intercession for you. You win. You win. He just wants you to believe that. So you'll be blessed. You'll be blessed. He's not holding your sins against you no more. You're a true disciple when you are a righteous man followeth seven times daily, and meaning endless times. And Jesus even said, Lord, I mean, the disciples asked Jesus, well, how many times should we forgive? He said 70 times 70. He meant every. When they come and ask you to forgive them, you do it. But it takes a humble heart. We are forgiven once and for all, by the way. He already did that. He already uh, calculated it. There's no number. It's endless. He, the, the blood of Christ was sufficient. It took care of our sins, those that believe on Christ, so now, mind you, once and for all. It was sufficient. His, what he did on the cross paid for your sins. If you trust on what he did, it's paid. It's done. There's the, the, the ritual of rebound, going back and forth. Uh, forgive me, Lord, of my sins. Now you're in fellowship. No, you're not. You always have been in fellowship. You just don't realize that. Get your mind renewed with the word of God. Repentance is what God wants from you. It ain't uh, confessing your sin and then, wow. And you know, when I sin again, I'm, I'm in good relationship now. I'm good standing because I've confessed. Really? Really? Come on, man. You, ha or you are in fellowship. The thing is, what we do with our lives, God wants repentance as believers to desire his word. Repentance, I mean, the, th the things you're are dealing with in life, if you take the word of God seriously and grow, you won't even re remember all of a sudden those things will fall off. They'll just fall off. Your desire is new. You got a new heart. You have a new desire. God put that there by the Holy Spirit of God in your heart to love God, to want to learn of him. And being a disciple... It means it, the picking up of your cross. It means just get up, learn of me. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall, shall set you free. He wants you one little day at a time. And God is patient. He's great. He loves you and gracious to you. He's not going to put more on you. Just hang in there. Plug it out day after day, year after. It don't come overnight. It's, it's, if this is uh, to new believers... It takes time, okay? Just understand one thing. It's worth it. Plug it out. Hang in there. We all need a portion of God's word each and every day. But be willing to plug it out and hang in there. A righteous man falleth. And you will. Trust me, friend. There's no sinless uh, perfection. No such a thing. Any man tell you that, he's lying he has lied to you, and the truth is not in him. You hang in there. When you fall, get yourself back up. And understand, your father loves you. He, he's not against you. He's He knows you're going to fall. He's not surprised. You might be surprised how bad you fall, but he's not surprised. He already knew ahead of time. And you guess what? The Lord Jesus Christ died for those sins too. How many sins of yours were future? Think about that one. How many sins of yours were future when Christ died? You weren't even born yet. How many were future? 
friends, the idea of a rebound, uh, confessing sin, I believe in confessing when I blew it, but not to be forgiven. I am forgiven once and for all. The blood of Christ was enough. And I'm telling you, you need to get a hold of that because the truth is, that is the truth. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Once and for all, forgiven. Guilt, all that stuff, that's of the devil, man. Let it go. Grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pick up your Bible and read it. And understand God's grace is with you. He never will leave you or forsake you. If he's, if you're feeling there's nothing wrong with understand where you're at with God. When you think, you know, gossip can be the worst thing you can do. Gossiping. How many are, are, are guilty of that one? I know I am. It's so easy to want to talk about, oh, man, that guy, he just, you know, he, he just, he's late to work. I, I want to just, what is going on with that guy? Or whatever it might be. You're, you're dealing with people. You get frustrated, right? That's where growth, you know, the meat, this is the meat of the Word of God, guys. This is what it means to be a disciple. Understand when you do fall and you do stupid stuff that you get back up, dust off. Pick up your shield again. Get your shield up. Put your shield up. The devil's going to hit you in, in the weakest spot, and I'm guaranteeing you this. He don't hit. When he does hit hard and strong, it's going to be the very thing that you love is what he's after. To weaken, to nullify you, to make your faith nullified. It's real, folks. Renew your mind of who you are in Christ. He's got your back. He has never left you. He never forsake you. Although you're surprised about your sin, he's not. He's not. He's not surprised. He died for it. He wants to encourage you. That voice might be real small and still when you're hearing all that guilt, all that stuff's coming in your head, right? But that still small voice, still... I love you, son. I ain't giving up on you. I'm working in you a good thing. Hang in there. That's the Holy Spirit talking to you. You need to listen to that. We have a God of grace. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do what he did for us, but he did it because we cannot do it for ourselves. Guys, I appreciate, I hope you'll take the word of God seriously, what he says about you in Christ. You are a holy priesthood. You are holy before me. You're in my son. You believed on my son. My, my daughter, my son. It's time to get son conscious. My daughter, my son. I, hold, I do not hold your sins against you anymore. I love you. I just want better for you. If you go down this path, you know, I don't know what I, you know, you choose that. But I've always, I'm always here for you, and I will never leave you. I won't forsake you, and I will not condemn you. Condemnation is done away with, friends. There's no, there's no condemnation unto those that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ at all, that are in Christ that walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And you are in the spirit. If you're in Christ, you are in the spirit. You do not lose fellowship with Christ, ever. If you believe on Christ, it's done. It's finished. It's accomplished. That's what he's trying to get through your head and mine. It's right here. That's where the devil's going to attack you. If you, don't, if you don't get that right, you're never going to be able to be a true disciple a true soldier of Christ. you got to get that one together. You are sanctified once and for all. And God loves you and wants you to get this. you got to get this, friend. Okay, it's very important. Your sins are done away once and for all. This ritual of uh, confessing your sin or... Uh, for forgiveness, to be back in fellowship, out of fellowship, back in fellowship. What is that? Like every two minutes? 
So you see a sign, uh, you know, when you're driving to work, gentlemen's club, on and off, on and off. Look at a girl's butt. You know, we all men do that. If women knew what we really think, they'd be slapping us all day long. They'd slap us. But guys, I'm not, I'm just saying, you get the point. I'm not trying to be funny here, but I'm just trying to be practical about this. Be real about it now. Come on. Um, we won't get nothing done. In fellowship, out of fellowship. In fellowship, out of fellowship. What a crock. Come on. That ain't true. Um, anyways, I'm, I'm going to leave it with that. I can keep going on about this, man, because, uh, you know, I fought this thing. I, I realize that my sins are actually purged. My sins are purged. Are yours? <laughs> I ain't got no issue with it anymore. I realize that, I, and I have no problem, once again, I have no problem with confessing to the Lord, Father. Man, I blow it. But I pray for a heart of repentance. I want, please help me to get rid of these things that easily beset me so I can be used more effectively in, in the name of Christ. Not shame your name. But guys, sin's done. It's once and for all. Your sins are gone. There's no need to confess to be in fellowship, out of fellowship, in fellowship, out of fellowship. It's ridiculous. Let it go. That is not what First John was meant for. Read it in context. There was a mixed crowd there. Okay? God does have a solution for the believer. Okay? That he is our perpetuation. He has, he's our advocate, meaning he's like, if, if you look at it, but this, he's the best lawyer. He stands in our place on our behalf, pleading our case. And if the Lord Jesus Christ is pleading your case, you're going to win. It's win. You win. I enjoy talking to you guys. I appreciate you in Jesus' name. God bless each and every one of you. How fast is that which is true? Because it is true. Your sins are purged, friend. Relax in the Lord and enjoy. He wants you to enjoy fellowship with him. Not being... That's what he's longing for. He wants you. And he's got you. Just trust him, okay? You're, you're, you're good. You can be, come boldly now. You go boldly before your father. He's looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Amen, amen.